Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be doing another what I eat in a day. This time I'll be using Trader Joe's products that are starch solution compliant. If that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around. If you're new to my channel, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the starch solution. I've lost 15 pounds eating this way. The starch solution was written by Dr. John McDougall and I'll leave a link to his book in the description below so you can learn more about it. On my channel, you'll find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel today and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. You may also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Chew on Vegan. So let's get started on this what I eat in a day Trader Joe's edition. I usually don't eat breakfast because I intermittent fast, which is a discussion for a whole other video, which I will do at some point. So it's about 1.30 and it's time for lunch. What I'm making today are hummus and sun-dried tomato pinwheels. I have another recipe for these on my channel, but this was before I was doing the starch solution, so they are not starch solution compliant. So I thought I would update this recipe so everyone can enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to update other recipes I have on my channel and let me know which ones and I can certainly do that. I love these pinwheels because not only are they filling, but they're pretty and the colors are perfect for the holidays and you'll see that in just a minute. So let's get started. So we're gonna start off with an eight ounce container of the egg plant hummus from Trader Joe's, has no oil. So this is gonna go into our bowl. And I let it sit out for a bit so it gets soft. Easier to mix. To that, we're gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes, which I've just chopped up. And they're just the Trader Joe's sun-dried tomatoes here. I've got a little bit of garlic, minced garlic, couple of cloves. And then I have a quarter cup of spinach. You can use frozen or you can use fresh. I just happen to have fresh. I lightly steamed it, rang out some of the moisture and chopped it up. And then we're just gonna combine all these ingredients. We're gonna need two of these brown rice tortillas. Uh, these are also gluten-free. And if you have a problem with gluten, these are absolutely wonderful. So uh, let's pull these out. I like to put these in the microwave for about 15 seconds because that way they're a little bit more pliable. Gluten-free things are usually a little bit harder to work with. So we're gonna use a good portion of this. And you just wanna spread it out to the ends. And you can see the red and green, such pretty colors. And you wanna to try to get it all the way to the edge so they'll stay closed. Then we have about 12 fresh basil leaves, also from Trader Joe's. I don't know if I showed you that. These are, these are organic. So we're gonna lay these out. And you wanna kind of press them down. And you wanna leave one of the edges open so it will stick but then you'll put the basil leaves on the rest of the tortilla here. All right, then we're just gonna roll them up. And you just wanna cut them with the serrated knife. And they may fall apart a little bit, but you know what? It's okay. Let's see how we did. And there you go, you've got your pretty little pinwheels. So I'm just gonna finish making these and then we'll plate them up. So I paired this with the side salad, so this will be lunch. And just a full disclosure, disclaimer, there is a little bit of oil in these tortillas, uh, but I'm not gonna go crazy over that. Uh, I don't eat these all the time. Usually I eat them maybe a couple times a year, usually at the holidays, because I just think the color is so beautiful. But if this is a trigger for you, don't eat it, okay? I mean, use corn tortillas with no oil, but for me, um, since I'm so close to my goal weight, 
I'm fine with eating a little bit of oil once or twice a year. So, but that's totally up to you. But um, this is definitely a delicious, beautiful, colorful dish. So I hope you give it a try. Tonight, dinner's gonna be super easy. It's going to be lentil and cauliflower tacos. I'm gonna be using Trader Joe's steamed lentils and then their uh, riced cauliflower. I'm gonna add some red onion, a little poblano pepper, and I'm gonna also use the Trader Joe taco seasoning. We're just gonna let that all cook together and put it in a corn tortilla, top it with some tomato, lettuce, and salsa, and uh, pair it with some veggies, and we will be done with dinner. So let's get started. I'm just gonna add the red onion and the poblano and let those saute for a little bit. So you're a little soft. Now we're gonna add in our lentils. Like I said, about a quarter of that package and about a cup or so of the cauliflower. Add a little bit of water to that. Help it saute. I'm gonna put a lid on this and let this cook for a couple of minutes and then we'll add our seasoning packet. And by a couple of minutes, I mean like five minutes. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of the taco seasoning. About that much. That will be spicy enough for me. So we're just gonna let this simmer for a few minutes and then we'll be ready. So here we are. I did a little bit of lettuce, tomato, and salsa, and some of my plant-based cheese sauce. And then I paired it with some broccoli and green beans and a little more cheese sauce. Very good, a little well-balanced dinner. So let's give this a taste. Yep, that definitely has a kick. So if you are sensitive to spices, don't use a lot of that because it is a little on the spicy side. But otherwise, the flavor is perfect, quick, easy. I mean, this came together in minutes. So that's it for this what I ate in a day. It was uh, pretty simple. I try to keep my meals as simple as possible. That's the only way that for me that I will continue to do this if it's easy and it helps with consistency. And consistency is the key when you're doing the start solution. So I hope you like this video and you learned something today, got some ideas, got some recipes. I hope you did. If you found it helpful, leave me a comment below. I love to hear your comments. And give me a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. And all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the planet, and they're good for the animals. And remember, what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. This time I'm gonna using, mm, this time I will, mm, this time I'll be using products, oh my God. If that sounds like something you're interested in, if that sounds like something you're interested in, oh my God, hoo hoo hoo. If you're new to my channel, my name is, oh no, they already know that. What I'm making today are hummus and, oh my God. What I'm making today are hummus and what is wrong with my brain?